welcome to today's Prime Demo. Today we're doing the Milwaukee M12 38 impact wrenches. We had a letter from a viewer of ours who requested that we do these, so we're running a closer eye of them. We've got the brushed model here and the fuel model here. Uh, Mitch, tell us a little bit about these. Hi Steve. Yeah, so Milwaukee's done a real great job with their M12 range. They provide two distinct lines. There's a, there's a, a budget conscious brush range and then the outright power and performance of the M12 fuel. Uh, the M12 brush range um, punches out 2500 RPM and 136 Newton meters of torque. But this is nothing to be sneezed at. It's, it's a serious uh, impact wrench for the light automotive, uh, machinery, uh, also manufacturing and, and uh, assembly of small bolts and fasteners. So they're a great product there. Whereas the, the M12 fuel has, has the raw power, it's got 158 newton metres of torque um, and 2650 RPM. So again, it's an increase in power and torque, gets the job done faster, allows you to do slightly larger fasteners um, and really provides a great fastening solution. So the M12 brush just has the one mode, which is then variable with your trigger, whereas the M12 fuel has two distinct modes. So you're looking around. 30 newton meters on mode one, and then an outright power in mode two of 158 newton meters. So they've provided a really good solution for a range of fasteners here. Yeah, and for the budget budget conscious people, it's great as well. I mean, every market's different. Us personally at Prime, the brush version is about 30 percent cheaper than the fuel version. Um, so it's a really attractive price as well. It is. If you've not got power tools or you don't use them very often. Um, it's a great stepping stone into the platform, whether it be in Milwaukee, um, then you can expand to your larger tools later on if you if you that way inclined or you find you're using them all the time or need the extra power or want any of the tools we're going to review in the M12 range. Um, it's really a great platform that can be used for a multitude of purposes. All right. Well, we've got a bit of a face-off coming up where we're going to go new school against old school. So let's cross over to that and see how we go. So today we're going to have a face-off, the Milwaukee M12 Fuel 3.8 impact wrench up against the trusty Sig Chrome Spanner. Steve, a relatively inexperienced tradesperson, up against myself who's been wielding these spanners since I was about 10. We're going to do a very common job here in our shop at Prime, which is tearing down a lever hoist. This is a simple task, but it also is also relevant to like your automotive or light machinery industries. We're going to put each other against the clock and see who comes out on top at the end of the day. Three, two, one, go. So as you can see there, even in someone who's relatively unexperienced, they can get the job done much faster than someone who's pulled apart 30 or 40 of these things in their life. So as you can see there, the old school Sid Current Spanner copped a hiding from the M12 fuel there. 
even in Steve's relatively inexperienced hands, he was able to just wipe the floor with me. He even had time to remove the vice from onto the bench to be able to swing the handle around. So I've repaired 30 or 40 of those lever hoists in my life. And we've always done them with the spanners because that was all the tools that we had available at the time. With the M12 fuel, your productivity is through the roof. Whether that be on the brush or the M12 fuel, it's going to make no difference in those sort of jobs. Your tasks in those sort of size bolts, where you're looking at M8, M10 bolts, it made short work of them. Mm. I really loved how easy it was to carry and manoeuvre. When I had to get the vice off, there was no problems. And you can see moving it around, very easy, very lightweight, but lovely to use. They are. That's the big thing with the M12 range. It's ergonomic. You'll hear me talk about it in the bandsaw. You'll hear me talking about it in the rotary hammer. It's, it's one-handed application. You can move it around. It's not going to be fatiguing on your arm. All the M12 products come with these comfortable rubber grips. So if you're holding them onto them all day, vibrations or fatigue is not going to set in because they've got real ergonomics and you can use them for a 10 or 12 hour shift and not have to worry about it. Excellent, so it looks like Milwaukee have come up with another couple of winners there. Really happy with the performance on that one. So if you'd like to see a demo like the user that wrote into us, drop a comment in the comments below and we'll go ahead and review that product for you. Thanks for watching today and we'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube and check out our other videos on our channel.